Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's episode, uh, we're diving into the world of threat intelligence, and I'm going to be showing you how to install and use a tool known as the Devil's Eye. So this tool leverages the power of Amia.fi, allowing you to fetch hidden surfaces in the deep web and also provides detailed descriptions aligned with your queries. I'll also be showing you how to install the Tor browser, which acts as your gateway to the deep web, ensuring a secure and anonymous browsing experience. All right, so let's start by checking out how to install Tor Browser on your Kali VM. Pretty straightforward process. Just update your system and then run sudo apt install-y tor tor browser-launcher and you're good to go. Now, moving on to the devil's eye, you can find the tool in the official repo down below. This R Lionheart, the devil's eye. Uh, there's a brief description of what this tool does. And if we scroll down, um, you should be able to see a screenshot of what the output kind of looks like. So we have a title, a URL, and also a description of its content. Now, there are several options for uh, installation. I would personally recommend to use PyPy just by writing pip install the devil's eye. Once you're done with that, we can head back to our Kali terminal and launch the Tor browser. We do that just by writing Tor browser dash launcher. Now we can click on connect and just like that, we're ready to browse the deep web freely and most importantly in a secure way. Now we can open up a new window and start our first query using the devil's eye. Uh, syntax in this case is idiot proof. Just specify the term you want to search for. Uh, we can try the devil's eye with ransomware and see what we get. Now, there you go. So here we have um, a title. There's also an onion link, uh, so a deep web link, and a description. So we can try out the link for the uh, Everest group. So what we do is we just uh, copy the link and then slap it into the Tor browser directly and run it. Let's do that. So the Evers Group is a ransomware gang that has been active since late 2020 and is particularly infamous for having targeted um, AT&T in the past. Now, you can see that in this site, what they do is that they advertise their victims. Uh, so there's names of companies or organizations that have been uh, targeted by this gang. And, and there's also, um, you can see each one has uh, another link that most likely will uh, lead to a, a data dump. Now we can check out yet another uh, manifestation of the historic Agora Marketplace here. So there's Agora Road Marketplace Verified. So we just repeat the process, open up a new tab, we paste it and let it run. So for those of you who are not aware of this, um, Agora used to be one of the original uh, dark net deep web marketplaces uh, and it was launched back in 2013 and I believe it was shut down um, two years later you can give it a few seconds to load and um, as you can see here they these guys have sort of uh, they kind of ripped off the original Silk Road logo as well and they paddle all sorts of illegal stuff so that would include fake currency and documents um, hacking services carding tools uh, you name it. If it's something illegal and immoral, they probably have it. We can scroll down and see what they have, what they got. And there you go. You have fake IDs. They sell drugs as well, which is really bad. Now we can head back to our Kali uh, terminal and I'll show you yet another trick. So the Devil's Eye by default searches for the first uh, 10 entries, but you can easily modify that by supplying a dash C flag followed by the number of results you want. So we can try uh, the same query. So the devil's eye ransomware dash C with 20. As you can see here, we get a more beefy output. Now it goes without saying that these tools should be used in ethical ways. Uh, for instance, to track down adversary groups and gather intelligence on recent trends. It should never be used nefariously. I hope you guys have enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next.